Hi guys, I'm just sat in the car after, well, having given the, the mount for the CB antenna a bit of uh, checking out because it was reading a high SWR which wouldn't go down no matter how much I adjusted the whip and that was, as I suspected, down to the mount not making proper continuity with the bodywork of the car. For whatever reason, I don't know why that was the case. So... I changed them, uh, the mounting hardware used on the mount that's actually fitted to to the bracket on the on the roof bar, and that seems to have solved the problem. And it's got the SWR back down to a suitable working level. So about uh, we're at twenty seven seven one four there. That's the middle of the UK band, I think. Yes, it should be. So if we go all the way down can just see the marker there. I'm just going to have to focus on the screen a bit because the screen's out of focus. So the SWR is going down. It's biased towards the CPT band somewhat, but that, to be honest, is fine. I'm not going to bother trying to get it any lower than that. 1.3, 1 1.4, 1's fine. I'm not going to bother going any, trying to get it any lower. There's no point the end of the day it's working and there's no point trying to achieve achieve any lower if it's working because uh, anywhere between 1.1 to 1.5 is perfectly acceptable for me I mean I might lose some power back but to be honest it doesn't matter too much so that's pretty much everything right up to 28 megs so it's still about 1.5 to 1 at 28 megs which is great. So let's get that plug back into the radio. And the antenna's all connected back up. The cable's there. We've just had to tighten up the, the angle adapter in the back because that wasn't making a proper contact, but that's now sorted. So I've got the cable runs down the rubber seal along the side of the door and under the door, and then underneath the one that runs along the underneath the rear door on that side. To the, on the passenger side of the car as well, into the boot, into a coupler, and then up to the coax that goes to the antenna. So that all seems to be working fine. The SWR seems to be where it ought to be. So, just one thing left to do. One nine for a rig check. One nine for a rig check. One nine, one nine for a rig check. You know what? I was never going to get anything, was I? So <laughs> that's now fixed and. Now I can use it again, because it had been out of use because of this mystery high SWR problem, which I kind of suspected was something to do with the ground anyway. So that's now all working fine, and hopefully that'll be me back on the air with that. And I would have filmed it while I was doing the job, but fortunately my significant other was on the phone at the time, so I couldn't do that. So... That just meant I couldn't really do the video and uh, speak to my significant other at the same time. <laughs> so that's now working and hopefully I'll be on the air. So just something to fill in the time with because I've not had a lot of chance to make videos because other things have come up, as you may well know. And obviously I'm now going to be very busy with work to make up for the fact that I haven't done as much work for the last couple of days because of these things and various other things. So... Right, so 7-3 for now and I'll catch you hopefully in the next one.